So what's your name and where are you from? Okay, uh, my name is Elizabeth Abiola and I am from Nigeria. Why did you choose the Netherlands? I wanted to go to the US. I was doing my application to the US and um, apparently at that time they didn't grant me the visa because they felt like, oh, I wouldn't come back to my country, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, and then um, Netherlands came into option because my school has a branch here in the Netherlands. And um, my dad was like, oh, he has been to the Netherlands before. He like he knows a lot about the country because he's been here a couple of times. So okay. I should go to the country. And I was like, yeah, why not? Let's go. Okay. And that's how I ended up. Oh, you actually had between Netherlands and Switzerland. Oh, really? But I personally did not go for Switzerland. <laughs> my father wanted Switzerland, but... I personally, I know the kind of lifestyle I have, and I'm like, you don't want to do that. Let's do never. What university is it? Um, I went to Webster University. It's an American private university, and they also have a branch here in the Netherlands. I studied international relations as my major and my minor as non-governmental organization, which is NGO. What is it like being black and Nigerian in the Netherlands? Who? Good question. Um. Being black and Nigerian in the Netherlands. Yeah. I think, to be honest, like being Nigerian in its own form, it's a bit a whole lot to handle. Okay. Like most times, like, apart from you being black, which is like one block on its own, then you being Nigerian alongside complements the blackness of being black. Yeah, I think like sometimes when I, um, in certain situations or like certain environments or like, certain career paths or like career level as well, even in school or while I was still a student. Like being a black person didn't really favor me all the time. Sometimes like it's glary, it's close, it's clear to your face, but you cannot voice out because then there are ways around these things. And then topping it all, mentioning that I am Nigerian, you know, there's just like this stereotype, like this um, stigma that has been like, a point head mm. or like black people like Nigerian so I wouldn't say it's easy but God mm. has been good do you think the Dutch people discriminate against the, uh, foreigners oh, I think for the um, for the Dutchies is more like they don't want to accept it but deep down it's there have you ever experienced any form of discrimination at work anywhere else I think for me it would be like at work, okay, even at school or like a couple of places, but I think most of the time like I don't look at, I don't go up with the mindset of oh, I'm going, there's like a racist discrimination or like there's a discrimination going on here or like there's like a racial factor here or something. So for me, it makes it very difficult for me to like get swam in those kind of bad occurrences to be mm. honest, but I would say that um, one example that I could actually cite was at my workplace. That <laughs> okay, not really a workplace, but yeah, we had like we we're meant to have like a um, event together and all of those things. And in between the line, um, me and one of the other person that happened to be Dutchy went offline. We didn't go according to the book. We went outside the book of what they told us to do. It was meant to be like a shoot, actually. We went outside the line of what we we're meant to do. And then the next thing. These guys told me that they no longer lead me on the event. And they just only gave the guy like one week suspension. And the funniest fact was, it was literally, this guy did way more than I did. But me, they told me, oh, don't worry about the content anymore. We don't need you no more. And they just told the guy, oh, you know what? Just have like one week suspension and you're back on stage. When did this happen? Um, this happened like, I just finished... That was when I just actually got done with my master's degree, and I think that was like in 2019, there about. Okay. Yeah, or 2020, I think so. Okay. Yeah. What is it like living in the Netherlands as an expert? One of the things is climbing the corporate ladder mm. is hard. Let's see, you could change jobs, huh? they can change the title. Let's be honest, it's just title. Because mm. at the end, you might realize that what you're doing previously was more than what you're currently doing, but the title is higher than what you were doing. So you could change jobs, change title, get higher salary, but climbing that ladder is hard. What would you say like climbing the ladder looks like for you? I think for me, to be honest, like in as much as we don't want to put up that figure and we all Africans, we like to put on the fact of I got God, God got me. Yes, I'm a very religious person, but then I still want to face reality of things, which is I am a black person. Like I am a black person. There are tons of people out there at my place of work or like anywhere or like could even be friends or something that feel like I don't qualify that position. I don't mm. qualify that seat just because 
I am a black person. So I would say it's really difficult. And in as much as in corporate life, you have to kiss asses to climb those seats or like mm -hmm. those steps. Like as a black person, bruh. You might have to kiss the graves as well because your own is like times hundred of what normal people are doing. So like it's just like even working or like having results. Like as a black person, you have to do your your own has to be like fifty times more than because mm. that is only when you can be recognized. Because yeah. if you're on the same pace with the people, like you would barely be recognized because it's like you're given the bare minimum. Mm. For let's forget about the whole thing of people say it's the mentality we've given ourselves. No, it's not about the mentality. It's just the reality of things that we're currently seeing today. How do you make friends in the Netherlands? How do I make friends in the Netherlands? <laughs> um, <clears throat> I like this question a whole lot. But for me, like, I wouldn't say friends, but how do I get to know people in the Netherlands? Because for me, friendship is a very big word. Mm -hmm. I use the word acquaintance a lot than friendship, to okay. be honest. No offense, but yeah. Um, I am a very friendly person. Getting to know people is not difficult for me, but for me it's more about like maintaining it because when it comes to keeping up, I'm very lazy. But a lot of people have different issues and like how they tackle this problem. But I think for me, like <clears throat> I could literally see you on the road and I like what you're wearing or like I like what, what you look like. Mm -hmm. And for me, I'm complimenting you ASAP and I'm starting a conversation with you at that point. Like, I could talk about even recently to my, when I went home in Nigeria and um, <clears throat> I was with my partner and we were in the elevator and there was this lady that came from America for a conference. And at that point, I just made a conversation with this woman. It was like a long-term conversation. She already told me about the country she went to, what she came to Nigeria to do, where she was staying, what she's doing. And my partner was just like, how do you do this? So for me, I think like making friends is not a problem, to be honest. Like if I see you and I'm actually really interested in what you're wearing or like what you look like or what you smell like, I would raise a conversation with you. But it's about like maintaining that friendship or like maintaining that thing that we started, to be mm. honest. But yeah, for me, I wouldn't say it's difficult. Mm. For me, it's actually not difficult. And how do you sustain those acquaintances or friendships? Ah. I'm the worst person, you know, because I know that the way I'm doing this video, I have some friends that are probably typing right now. I have been calling you for 50 times, you did not call me back. But yeah, I think I'm actually the worst person, to be honest. Like, I'm a bit lazy, but to be honest, like, even if I'm lazy to, like, reply, I love my friends. Like, I hold them so hard. Mm. You get, like, I'm going to talk to you every day, but 